All right, what's up, everybody? Cat here. We're going to redo Stone Valley 22. We're going to start over here. It's been updated since we last played it, so we updated it. We are using some mods, but not a lot. The only thing we've really added here is the Alice Chalmers tractor, the uh, Peterbilt 389, and also the International 86 series. Oh, and the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer that I won't be able to afford for a long time. The rest of these are mostly all just gameplay, so... That's what we've added here, and that's how we're going to roll on this one. So the first thing we're going to do is have to find a farm and buy it. And definitely change the way our guy looks. So these people already have canola growing. That's tempting. Could buy that and that farmhouse. Uh, let's see what else there is. So, I mean, it's obvious I should buy this farm because it's ready to harvest. It's canola. And it's seven. It's half my money. So let's buy it. We'll get the plot of land next to it, too, for 44. Cool. All right. So, let's go see. Well, what I bought has a spinnery on it. I don't need a spinnery, so I'm going to sell that. Sorry, I don't do cotton right now. So, here we go. All right, first thing we're going to need is some tractors. Okay, so we bought a bought an Alice Chalmers tractor. We got a Kloss wagon for it. Now we need a harvester. I think I'm going to buy this instead of lease it. That way it's not coming out every month. So I'm going to buy it. 304,000, yes. Ouch. I'm going to try it with the bigger header. I'm going to try it. I'm going to lease it, and I'm going to try it. Here we go. All right, here we go. We got a course play going, and he is going. So we're going to have to get our other guy set up to, to follow him. But that shouldn't be too bad. I'm just worried about this tractor being able to actually pull this, but we're going to try. We're going to find out. All right, we need to purchase soil information for this field. Yes. Okay, there we go. And we got some loam, some sandy loam, some loamy sand. That's not as bad as silty clay. Come right on. All right, what we're going to do here is put an oil mill here. We're going to turn this canola into canola oil because it sells for way more that way. So apparently I put on smooth corners. I did not mean to do that. All right, they're moving, they're unloading, and they're harvesting. I'm uh, farming here with my kids. Y'all say hi. 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 You gotta get over here more, Rory. can see you. All right, wave. All right. Pretty cool. Like, they like this game. There is big fields here on this map. Big fields. So I tell you what I'd like to do is just take a plow and plow that little grass strip through here, but I don't know if I should do that or not. It's hard not to like the International Harvester stuff. That's a nice looking combine. I'm an International Harvester. All right, here we go. Let's unload him again. He's getting full. All right, we're buying this International Harvester, the old 1586 here. We're gonna need to start liming here. All right, here we go. We're still cracking on this field. Still going strong. I got a new International, an old International Harvester uh, liming too. All right, more canola. I'm wondering how much this place is gonna hold because I feel like I got a lot on this field. All right, here we go. Still going. Our money has dwindled a bit, but I've bought some stuff. At least it's not leased. I am going to have to lease a planter and uh, a sprayer, though. We're almost there. We are almost done with this field on harvesting. All right, we just need to finish up lime in here, and we can start that cedar. Actually, I could probably start it now anyway. So I don't have as much... Uh, money but i actually own this two these two tractors and that harvester the only thing i'm leasing right now is this trailer that trailer and that cedar so we'll see how this goes i'll try plan to pay them off so and we got canola oil being manufactured so it should be being sold all right let's get this guy started here other guys uh got a refill on lime and he's almost done hour and 24 minutes with this little guy that's all right it's worth it saving money all right, I did it. At least the deer, 280 horses. I need something better to pull this. So we're going to lease this. If it gets down to it, I'll sell that Alice Chalmers, but I feel like I'll be able to keep it. We'll see. 
much better. He's going three mile an hour faster than that Alice Chalmers was. So he'll get it done a little quicker. So we got just under 60,000 liters of canola off that field. And that is going to last us only about four, four or five months. But it's all right because we should get more next time because it wasn't limed or fertilized correctly. So we'll see. All right, so I took on a contract. Uh, we're gonna go harvest this. Not too big a field up here. It's not for very much money, only like 5,600, but hey, we need to be doing some contracts apparently because we need money. This is a nice combine, but it's got a tiny header on it. It's gonna take a little bit. Harvesting oats on this field, all right. All right, let's get up here. We're gonna unload if we can get this dude who auto drove up onto the freaking railing up there. It's the Michelin man. Check it out. I'm wondering how far my cedar's getting along. I'm just going to keep trucking on this field, though. We are 70% done with this contract. I don't know if we're 70% done with this field or not, though, but it's getting close. This is a nice combine. Doesn't hold that much, but it's pretty nice. How much is this gonna hold? Or am I gonna get to keep some of this? Curious. Very curious. How's this guy getting along? 30 minutes left still. He's got quite a bit done though. He's got to do that little part over there too still though. Okay, so the contract part of the grain is done. So like, can I bring my wagon over here and put this grain in it and take it? Cause they're telling me to take that grain to a certain place. I'm gonna try it. See if I can keep the grain, the rest of this grain I harvest. Cause I mean, it's not a lot of money, but an extra 5,000 liters of oats I'll take, you know? Such a slow tractor says you need to deliver the oat to the grain rich valley okay the grain rich valley which one is that this one grain rich valley okay let's go find grain rich valley okay it's the one right across from where i live i like this trailer man where'd they get the michelin trailer it's badass okay it says 91 percent transported So I guess I gotta use this after all. That sucks. Let's see what happens here. I've had it screw me on contracts on this map. Contract finished. All right. And I got a little extra grain out of the deal. Cool. That'll work. Look at this timing. He is finishing up right on. And there's my money for my income, my contract income right on. I lied. He still has all that to do. I also should have added the mod, my case optum. I love that tractor. It's very comparable to this one. Just a little bit more powerful. Well, for the money, it's a little bit more powerful. But starting out, it's not near as powerful. So you upgrade the engine, but I like it. It's a good tractor, but this one ain't bad either. I'll take the deer. I need to get this paid off. This one right here. This guy literally ran out of fertilizer with that triangle left. Wow. All right, we just gotta go fertilize that last little section there. Then we're done till next month. And then we're gonna have to lease a stinking weeder or a sprayer. At least this is just one pass. Thank you. All right, we got all our work done here in August. It's been a long first month. So now we can go to sleep and wake up in September. Thinking about selling the Alice Chalmers here. All right, done deal. Sold the Alice Chalmers. Um, another thing is I'm going to sleep. I'm going to see what this costs in vehicle leasing. And then I might buy outright a sprayer and then take out a loan and pay off all these leases. We'll see. 
All right, so we're sleeping. Let's see what they're going to charge us in leases here. I have $431,921 to pay off everything. And it was $44.99 vehicle leasing. $44.99. Not bad. Not great either. All right, I'm going to buy this outright. 96.5. Buy it. There we go. I also need some herbicide. Cool. All right, we're going to start spraying the weeds. Get those out of here. Get the old international on that. What I need to do is buy another field. This one has soybeans. I'll be ready to harvest next, next month. Tempting. Doesn't leave me much room for money, though, at all. All right, so I think we're going to take a contract here. We're going to do this. Field 21. I don't know, man. Let's, I kind of feel like doing this big field, but I don't know how big the header is on that. Um, this is a nice combine. All right. I'm going to get him going on this. Taking my tool over there. I'm gonna see if it's the same size. Looks like it is. If it is, I'll get two tools going on this field. That is the same width. I think mine might be a touch wider. All right, this should work though. There we go. Now it's working right. That first one wasn't on the right path because he did. He left a whole strip down the side. Very peculiar. Sorry, these should be good now. Now we got them going the right way. Got them all lined up. I got to do that part over there too after I do this big part. Sorry, right, it's for fifty thousand dollars. I'm wondering, can I run two contracts at once? Because it's tempting to get the deer going on that other one that they have. It's not for that much, like 7000 but I mean, it's money's money. What? He's just going to keep going? Come on, man. Goodness. There we go. Empty him up. Five minutes. All right, we're doing a two contracts at once here. We are using their deer, their X9 up here on this sorghum field also. And their truck and trailer. This one's only for like 7,500, but still money. The X9 is a nice combine. Here's mine helping in this field, the 7150 case axial club. Also working with, in the same field, the Fint. It's a nice one too, the AT. It's a big combine too. Heck yeah. This is taking a while here to do all these fields. One of these days we'll be done with this field. I'll do the second part of it over here and it's pretty good size too. This guy, on the other hand, is almost done, which is good because we're going to need the money from this one to uh, pay these AI workers, most likely. You should be able to get that last stripe here. So we finished that contract. Even got a little bit of grain out of it. So let's go get paid for it. Right here, total 95.27. Collect. All right. Now we can go unload this. 
move him over to the other field to help with the other guy. Someday we'll be done. We're actually getting really close on this field. Just got this little bit. Got to take the grain and voila. We're getting close. We're getting close. This was 50 some thousand, I believe, right? It's cool when you got two in the same field. One of these days I'm going to have three in one field just to check it out. All right, this field is harvested. Now I just got to take the grain and we should receive our money. All right, let's empty out here and then we can take the truck. That's a good sized field right there, man. That thing's big. Divided up by two sections by this creek too. So once he's empty, we'll take the truck, empty out and collect our uh, payment for our contract. All right, let's go, let's go. We are about, hopefully, to be done with this contract. Hopefully there's no bugs. I would put a wrench in the plan. Whoa, jackknife. All right, here we go. All right, we did it. Contract finished, the rest I'm getting. Check it out. What do I get? I got 25,000 in grain alone off the deal. And then I'm going to get 50 grand for the contract being complete. Correct. Let's check it out. Um, go to contracts. Uh, completed. Collect. So I'll get 43,000. Cool. There we go. Now we got 77 grand. I could pay off my header, but I don't know if I want to. I do want to put some, uh, yeah, some diesel in here. 12 grand. Uh, let's just do it half full. Yes. All right. We got diesel. We got a pressure washer. I washed everything. So now we're ready to sleep. Get on to the next month. So we will do that. We got to sleep anywhere because I don't have a house. We're sleeping in the canola oil factory. Right on. All right. Go to sleep. All right. We slept again. We woke up in November. We actually made some money. It looks like <clears throat> our money went up. Need to check here. Uh, we still got some canola in there. 31,000. Cool. Um, so let's see. How much did we make? We need to find out. We made 9,600, huh? And that's on top of the leasing costs. 14,000 in production. Sold products. Right on. Minus 59 in production costs. Minus 65 in property maintenance. Minus 42.99 in vehicle leasing costs. All right, here we are in December now. We're still making money. To 99,000. We're going to run out of canola is the only problem. Yeah, we're starting to get low. Got about two and a half months more worth. But we are making money for it, so it is what it is. That is tempting right there. That is very tempting to just buy that tractor and get rid of the deer. Very tempting. I might even do it. It's 273 horsepower. And what's the deer? 280? Two eighty. Hmm. Very tempting. That's two eighty with the Isaria Pro Compact, even. Or ninety four thousand. I mean, two seventy three horsepower. It's not worth it to upgrade, but I'm about to buy that and end the lease on the deer. Let's do it buy it but before we buy it make sure it spawns here all right so go here uh buy it we gotta change the license plate though to 273 we're sacrificing seven horsepower but it's paid off so i mean buy it okay and then we can end the lease return that yes sweet All right, we own that. 
That's a good investment, I think. Now we're down to $2,500, but... Nice. Look at that contract, 111000 Too bad it's red beets and would take a lifetime on 52 acres, but good money. All right, let's check this tractor out now. Inspection required in 12 months, current damage is six. Hmm. So let's check out what the damages are. It's getting down to 50%, so this thing might start dying. I don't even know how to use the inspection thing. All right, so now the vehicle leasing cost is only 1800 which is very good. <clears throat> I made some money. I'm worried, though. We're about out of canola. <clears throat> so we got enough for one and a half more days. Um, how do I fix that thing? I really want to know. Okay, so control J. Total damages to be repaired. Six. Maintenance expected to be completed at 937. 1214. 1414. 1632. 1820. 2056. 20 damage. Alright, do that. Repair damages. Yes. So now I cannot use that tractor. Not that we're going to use it here in January anyway. So check it out if you try to start it. It says maintenance completed at 2057 o'clock. Which is at the end of January. So it's, going to, it's in the shop, technically. Alright, we're going to go ahead and sleep again. Wake up in February. You ready to have a banger for my birthday? Alright, and... Maintenance is now complete. Total of number of damages is now zero. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now we got a perfectly good tractor to work with. We are about to run out of canola oil. Only got 26, 28 left of canola. So yeah, a quarter of the day and not even. And then we won't have any money in until we harvest more. That sucks. We are officially out of canola oil, so we can stop production on that. That sucks. We're not going to get any more money this month. Or for the next four months. Ouch. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this small portion of it here first. Using the Kinsey. Unless they give us a good planter to do this with. Alright. Let him do his thing. Field 23, borrow items. I'm just gonna do me a little headland here because there's not a lot of room between this and the other field. And I can go to town on there using vehicle control add-on. Here we go, watch. I'll just give you a tour on the vehicle control add-on here. Or just what it does. I'm going to make this tractor turn around without touching a button. It's got cruise control on now, and boom, here we go. It's going to turn and line back up and go that way. Fancy. Doesn't always work that good, but it is on this. It's weird to me how the weeds grow in these fields that I don't have. They grow like as if precision farming is not on. Because in my fields they grow in patches where I spray them. But this whole field is weeds. Three more passes. Alright, last pass on the weeding here. Then we can go over and check on our uh, guy who's planting. It says finished work up there, so apparently the guy who's planting just got done with the small part, so he needs to go on to the big part. I'm going to finish this pass, and then I'll switch him over. Okay, he's done with this part. I had to buy two more bags of seeds, just because that is not going to cut it on the big part, if that's all that lasted.
thing's awesome. All right, how much time are we looking at here? Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'll see you in a while then. Still going on this field. Got a half hour left. <clears throat> I've refilled seeds once already. I'm gonna have to do it again. It looks like. Cause I'm about out again. But we're getting there. We're halfway through this one. And what the contract says, we are at 82%. So for 51,000 minus whatever for this planner and stuff, not bad. We are 92% done according to the contract. We're getting there. Good luck harvesting this, farmer. I am not going to help you. The sugar beets on this field would take a lifetime. Not happening. We're at 99%. Do I have to actually finish the field? I wonder. Because if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Says contract on field 16 finished. And there's still that to go in 10 minutes. So let's just go here and collect 47,000. Bam. All right, we're going to sleep one more month here. We'll be ready to harvest canola. Okay, here we go. Harvesting time. Cut in here. I'm going to force plug in. And he's off. And we're going to go new home here. we get the wagon. To unload the harvester. And I'll set up a course play for him too, and we'll let him do their thing. I'm gonna unload into the canola plant. All right, an hour later, finally got this field done. We got a lot of canola now. At least we can make some canola oil again. That's good. All right, this field's done. I think I'm gonna keep this trailer. I sold the other one. I needed a bigger one. I like this one. It's a nice trailer. I owe a lot on it, but. I could actually technically pay it off right now, but we're not going to do that yet. We're just going to leave it leased. The only two things I have leased are this and that header. So we're not bad in that front, in that department. We're going to dump a lot more canola in. And we have it set to storing because I'm going to tell it to sell when it's at its highest. I should have done that the first time, but I didn't. So we will do that this time back this bad fella in. Okay. Oh yeah, we got way more now. 85,000. That's way, that's almost double what we harvested on that field the first time. It's not too shabby. Okay, 2305 leasing cost, $67 property, $37 production cost. That's not bad. Not too bad. I cannot plant. Ooh, I can plant canola this month. All right, well, that's what I'm going to do. Ready to rock. And there we go, planting more canola again. Canola, canola, canola. Talk about wish I had money. They got deals on the X9 right now. That's crazy. That's over half off, yeah. My three least items right here. <clears throat> We're still seeding in here, still seeding. Got a lot of this field left to do. Wish I had a bigger seeder. That's a lot left. But we're getting there. 12 minutes. Then we just got to finish this little bit of fertilizing, too. This is a nice tractor for what I paid for it. Does the job well. That was a good, that was a good uh, come up. All right, three more passes on this part. Then I got to go to that little tiny part. And we're finally done planting on this field. It's taken a while. All right, field is planted field is fertilized getting an inspection done on the new holland 
I'm going to have them fix whatever's wrong with it here in a minute. Because you know there's got to be stuff wrong with it. $2,300 vehicle leasing. 24 minutes for this, huh? Okay. 100 on the environmental score. Right on. Today has one deal. That's the Series 7 TTV HD Dutzfahrer. 96 grand. Eh. No thanks. Finishing up here with the spraying. <clears throat> Our other tractor ought to be about fixed, too. Next morning, November. Um, let's check the deals again today. Ooh, we got more today. Got a Kubota in there. Got a skid steer for cheap. Got a G Series Voltra. Weak, though. I'd rather have the Massey than that. It's got more hours on it, though. All right, here we are, December. We have $71,000 on hand. Let's check the deals for today. And there's a Kubota. Yeah. We come over to Productions. And we are probably ready to sell that. Let's take a look at the prices. Yeah, 35. 35.71. It's actually over that. 36.18. So. That means sell it. Speed up time here. Make an hour go by and it'll get rid of all that. There we go. $101,000. Right on. We're making some money slowly but surely. Okay, it's noon on December, year two. This is where we're going to end the first video here. We basically started in August of year one and went to December and now we've done a full year so we'll call it the first complete growing year but uh yeah we're gonna end it here we made some headway we got a lot of equipment we got a field we got a factory really we only got three things out here left to pay off that's the wagon the cedar and the header um so join us next on the part two, we're going to go through the season two. And we're going to try and get even more money. Eventually, I'm going to try and buy that field behind me. I could take out a loan, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself yet. I want that as a cushion in case I need it. So, anyways, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in part two. Have a good one. Peace out.